Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft, courtesy of me. Hmm. Do you have B-movie audio? I don't. <laughs> I do not have that. But I do have HelloFresh promo codes that can get you 21 free meals over the course of eight deliveries and they're delicious we actually just made the creamy corn chowder tonight it was really good i took a picture of it it's beautiful i'll just show it to you on the phone a little oh that's never gonna work you can't see it it was delicious ancestral recall is also delicious i'm gonna take that immediately Mono blue. I actually love drafting mono blue when I'm able to do it. Because I never have to feel bad about like taking all the counter spells, you know? I mean, maybe I still should. But I don't. Oh, I like a volcanic island. Oh, but if we're mono blue, this counter spell is just the best you can get, you know. Let's just take the counter spell and just be let's just lean into it, you know. Did you see that new planeswalker artifact thing? I did. I did. It's kind of ridiculous. Urza Saga could be pretty good in mono blue. I mean, we'd have to go into a different color here for not mono blue, right? We have to go into like Scarab God is really cool. But this keeps us mono blue. And it lets us play this card. And I always think it's very good. But you really you want some good one or zero cost artifact. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I wanna lean into this mono blue. I wanna chase this mono blue that we got going on here. I guess that means Sheldock Isle. I don't think it's Gilded Drake. I don't know. We'll see. This could be a mistake, you know? I could... I could be locked into something that I shouldn't be locked into, you know? See, now I wish I took the Gilded Drake because the Hullbreaker Horror is the one reason you want it. Uh, Dak Faden is also really cool. Like a closet or a basement, yes. Awkwardly, yes. God, is Dak Faden just better? No, it's the children who are wrong. All right, I mean, look, I'm going to just stick the course. We're going to stay the course. I'm actually going to update the stip command because someone's going to be like, is this mono blue stip? And then I'm going to be like, no. I hate Brainstorm, but you know what? I kind of like Spell Pierce here. I think Spell Pierce is really underrated. I think it counters a lot of things in this format that you don't want happening. I have this stack of cards that I'm trying to replace with better versions. The top is Four Force of Wills that we'd like to replace with borderless Dominator Remastered versions. Uh, then we have four of this gentleman, Urza, that we'd also like to replace, replace with uh, Factor Fiction, obviously. Uh, four Dominera borderless versions. 
And then we have four in tomb that we'd like to replace with four borderless Dominaria remaster versions. And then we have four of these Yog moths that we'd like to replace with. Can you guys guess? Four borderless Dominaria remaster versions. And then we have these four Empty the Warrens that we're just replacing with four Dominaria Remastered Retro Frame versions. And then we got these four classic Mark Pool Secret Layer Birds of Paradise that we're actually just replacing with Mark Pool Retro Frame Dominaria Remastered versions. <sighs> oh, Retrofitter Foundry. That's exactly what I wanted with the Urza Saga. That is an extremely late Primeval Titan, but uh, that's a win con in our deck and also a really, really sweet target for the Urza Saga. And then we have two, four Sylvan Libraries, which we're replacing with, um, God, what was it again? Borderless Dominary Remastered versions. And finally, two Scrabble Gods, which we'll be replacing with the Ridiculous Secret Layer Scrabble God DJ version, which I have one of already. So, Opposition. That's a good blue card. Just kidding. Oh, boy. I don't think they make any Borderless Secret Layer Mutual Bees. I guess we're taking Badlands? What's a Dominaria? That's not even a thing. Eh, wow, Frantic Search came back. That's kind of, I'm going to take Academy Ruins in case we get Mind Slaver. And I don't think Frantic Search is that... Like, you have so many better card draw spells than Frantic Search. The only... Like, I mean, the best part of the, uh, is obviously that you untap. But it's really a three for two. It's basically just a... Uh, Bazaar of Baghdad. Uh guess Tezzeret. I don't love it. We'll take this guy. We'll take the Kaito Shizuki. Ten playables, huh? Eight playables with land. So if we can get eight playables out of every pack, we're probably Gucci. Tezzeret, that's also considering Tezzeret a playable. And it's also seven, uh, so it's closer to six. Mm, it's not great. But we did cut a lot of blue, so I guess that's got to count for something. And then there's a beautiful Mox Jet. God, the, the signals that we should have been red-blue are so strong. I was rigid. I still think we're taking a Mox because it's basically a colorless, a colorless Mox, and like we still get to maybe splash something off of it if we wanted to, or... You know, there's a lot of options here. I mean, I did like... I don't even like Spellseeker, actually, to be honest. I was going to say I did like Spellseeker. Like, that was what I would have taken, because we do have Ancestral Recall. And that's one of the main situations you want it, but... God, three mana for a 1-1. One, one. It's just... It's not great, Bob. Not great, Bob! It, it actually probably will wheel. That's a that's a valuable valuable point you're making here. I'm gonna put all four of these in the sideboard. We can also get it with uh, Urza Saga, which is definitely a perk. What's it gonna be? Ba -da -ba -da. I would say it's Metalworker, but we currently only have two artifacts. Is it too late? Because there's really nothing else in here. Someone really doesn't want us to, to be mono blue. I think we're I think we're looking at a bad deck. I think we were way too rigid.
Yeah, you know, Ulamog was the other card I was thinking of because if we, but we'd have to literally be in a different color. Because the only thing that lets us play Ulamog is show and tell. And I honestly just think Metalworker has a higher potential. Okay, so now we're just going to take, is it Signet? We're going to try to, oh, okay, Cryptic Command. Okay. Hopefully this Mind Slaver comes back. I mean, it's funny because we have a lot of red fixing right now. Like, the two cards I regret passing to not be in, in red, blue are the Volcanic Island and the Dak Faden. Those really hurt a little bit. And I feel like if we took those, we'd be very, very comfortably in blue, red. But hindsight it is 476, I think. So. See, and then we get Chandra. Like, that's got to be the pick, right? It, like, Trinket Mage is trash. Chandra's top tier. All right, we're just leaning into it. I regret never being able to get a Volcanic Island. I regret not having a Dak Faden at three. But that doesn't mean we're not throwing good money after bad, as they say, you know? Uh, Inqua Leviathan is actually a Tinker target. Do we have Tinker? No, we have Metalworker, though. So, we could have Tinker at some point. I do like Miscalculation probably more than Shieldbreaker. Yeah, let's take the Miscalc. Being able to just counter their anything is so good. The problem with Mind Slaver is sometimes some mean guy steals it with Zealous Conscripts. Dude, Zealous Conscripts have been has been like MVP this uh, this cube season. X Bucky Boy, thank you for saying so, buddy. I appreciate it and appreciate the follow. Like we've stolen a Liliana and ultimated it. We with Zealous Conscripts, we've stolen the Mind Slaver and then Mind Slavered them with Channel. This pack is pretty rough. Is Christian in the chat? Oh. Oh. He said like one thing. Oh, oh my God, he has been. You can be like, oh my God. <laughs> Christian, I'm so sorry, buddy. I seriously did not see you. As you can tell, because I literally messaged you and said I'm live if you didn't know. Oh my God, dude. That's hilarious. Because I know sometimes he doesn't get notifications or like he'll get notifications. Like Krishna will message me at like two in the morning and be like, Siri says you're streaming right now. It's lying. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Is it Spellseeker or do we just take this like Sphinx in the hopes that like we get to metal work? Not metal work, but uh, you know what? I'll just take this. We can play it, whatever. I don't know if we're metal working it. But we do have four whole artifacts right now. Three that would actually count towards a metal worker, so. Uh, incinerates? Oh, let's take Timeless Lotus. What did we take over Dak? Um, that's a good question. I think it was just Counterspell, wasn't it? Uh, Young Pyromancer actually could be decent here. Was it Hullbreaker Horror over Dak Faden? I don't think so. That doesn't sound correct. That doesn't sound like something I would do. Honestly, it might have been. Fudge. Yeah, Fire Blast. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Hey, we can get a Steam Vents. That's kind of like a... That's kind of like a Volcanic Island. 
We also do get upheaval if that's our... I feel like the steam vents might be more important, though. We have no fixing, so we're going to take steam vents. And a Jace the Mind Sculptor, huh? And a Splinter Twin. Yeah, we'll take the Jace. We should, a lot of people take Preordain there. I, I just, I like a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I don't think we have enough rocks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Blight Steel Colossus. Also good if we get that mysterious Tinker. Time Spiral. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is interesting. I think it's just Fable of the Mirror Breaker. This might be a Murktide Regent deck. We have a, quite a few spells. I feel like we're actually getting rewarded in this pack. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, like either one of these is great. So Christian just showed me this. He's like, look what I got. It is a, it is a ice. It's a pack of ice age eight grade. It's really sweet. That's like that, that throws, that throws me back, man. I actually don't know which one of these is better to be honest with you. I think it's stowaway. Oh, Metamorph, that's interesting. Also Prismatic Vista, which is probably the correct pick. I think it's Vista. I don't love it. Oh, Spire Bluff. Dude, we could have had Splinter Twin, Deceiver Exarch. Is it Deceiver Exarch now that we have Fable of the Mirror Breaker? That feels correct. But so does the fixing. Ugh. I mean, we have Cryptic Command and Jace and Chandra. I hate Top. <laughs> I never want to play with or against Top. I'm going to take the Canal. I think it's just better for what we're doing right now. I will 100% take Zealous Conscripts anytime you offer it to me. And I'll keep my fingers crossed that there's a Splinter Twin in the next pack. My first start of Ice Age is a core memory. I remember the smell of the non-card shop I got it from. Starter display was just sitting there next to a bunch of import toys in a random mall. Yeah, dude, I got so many magic cards at the mall. There was like this kiosk that was a comic store. Um, God, this was back in like 96, maybe? 95? And they sold Fallen Empires and Ice Age. And Goldspan Dragon is a banger of a card. The Splinter Twin came back. And the Preordain? We have to be the only people in blue, right? I want to take Splinter Twin because maybe Pestermite actually comes back. And then we have a really solid plan. Take out Tezzera, take out Leviathan, take out Metal Worker. Now, we, now we're missing a bunch more cards. <laughs> Timeless Lotus also isn't great, so that's unfortunate. But <laughs> what can you do?
I mean, it's still a combo with Zell's Conscript, so we have something going for us at least. So this is 20 and 20, so we get five more picks. Oof. <laughs> wow, what a reward. God, can the can we can we double it with the C Rex arc? That would be insane. I wasn't alive in 96. Like I'm active duty, but also a baby. <laughs> oh man, good times. Sit around, kids. Grandpa will tell you about the Ice Age. Also, Fire Bluff and Steam Vents, not too bad. And Prismatic Vista, so that came together. We stayed the course, you know? If I can get two more pickups out of these last four picks, that'd be great. Theros is so recent, that's so funny. Oh yeah, blue, red, and soul artifact. Oh, you know what? This is not a terrible card. I mean, we're gonna be casting it for six, but it's playable, especially with the ramp we have. Oh, mystical tutor, mountain forest plains. Dang, dang. Okay, is there anything we want to play over these things? Nothing at all. I wish we had better mana to splash for Kaito, but right now we just have one Badlands and maybe Prismatic Feast up with a black source. So I think this is the, the only card I'm reluctant on is Timeless Lotus. I think this is still fine. Fire Blast might just be better to be honest. Because we have Is It Signet, Mox Ruby. I think this is probably fine. Sort by color. Oh, what up, Dan Snacks? One, two, three. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might even go eleven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's a that's a fantastic it almost looks like a charizard duck also i don't have any animated emotes and i feel like i need some because they're pretty sweet it's funny all the stuff twitch introduced while i was not streaming All right, let's do it. Uh, keep. Oh, interesting. What a fascinating gentleman. Unfortunately, this is not a mock sapphire, so we can't keep up a counter spell. We 
You get a turn three Jace though, I guess. That's something. You would need for an OG Exposition Scalding Tarn. Not particularly. Skull Clamp, huh? Is that what you got? Okay. So next time we can play Jace, that's kind of cool. Is it me or does it feel like white is just actually too strong in this current cube? Like, I feel like the white decks are able to put you on the back foot so quickly. And then they're just able to, like, deny you resources and things. Fascinating. It is, it's pretty, but it is very pricey. Also, as someone who is still currently unemployed, looking for his next job, um, I feel like picking up uh, OG Expeditions is not where I should be. Mesmeric Fiend. I have looked at it. Use his ability. Oh, God, I hate that text so much. Put that card at the bottom. Do I want you to have a Mesmeric Fiend? Do I care about it? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. I like my hand. I ate three slices of toast today. <laughs> That's a Kerwood original right there. Okie dokie. God, they always have the exact thing they need to to take away the exact thing I did, huh? Cool. Hey, you played Planeswalker and pumped it to five to be safe? It's okay, I have an instant speed creature. I'll get rid of it. You got it. See, it's like, because there's, there's situations like this where like I'm just not sure how to get out of it. I mean, maybe fingers crossed we draw the the little weirdo, you know? And by the little weirdo, I mean, well, this doesn't even have haste. So, like, it's going to take, like, four turns in order to do anything with that. That's pretty rough. That's an eye roller. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Good times. Great oldies. All right, let's loot, I guess. Yeah, of course use that ability. Discard two cards. Hullbreaker. Probably Cryptic Command. That's fascinating. It's not exactly what we want, but fascinating nonetheless. Six, we take six. I think we're dead. Which doesn't really come as a surprise. I, I feel like a lot of the decks I've drafted this season were decks that worked like two seasons ago, but for some reason, the format's a lot more aggressive right now. And I feel like any of these control decks used to be just fine. But now you get, like, if you don't have, if you don't have a sweeper, like, you just, you just lose. 
to the white decks. Go to two, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can draw that actually gets us out of this. Got my kingdom for a ancestral recall, I guess. <laughs> uh, anything? Oh, it's cost two even? Jesus, what a fucking... What an insult to injury there. Yep. Hey, there's a pester mite. Give me one turn. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but it was not a good game. I have no idea what you guys are talking about in chat. I feel like you guys have gone off the deep end here. You know what? Let's see. We'll see where it leads. Do you know the Egg McMuffin was invented to be a more portable eggs Benedict? They swapped the Hollandaise out for cheese because the Hollandaise was too messy. Is that true? That sounds like nonsense. That could be true. I actually did have a HelloFresh meal. Me and Katie made uh, delicious the sweet corn and green pepper chowder. It was fantastic. Just got rid of my guy. What an actual scum lord. Oh, well, that's pretty big. That's big and unenjoyable. Uh, what are we discarding here? I don't think Retrofitter Foundry is going to get anything done for us. Oh, boy. I'm legit tempted to just Fire Blast this because it's actually terrifying for us and we have nothing to do against it. I think our deck is terrible. It feels bad to say because I was the one who drafted it, but... Might be Regent? I don't think it's Regent. Steel Seraph seems like a good way for us to get back in the game. One, two. This is like a million mana. Get that out of here. Okay, well. It's not a land, but it'll do, I guess guess just fire blast this we get to keep up Jesus this feels bad <laughs> it feels so bad one two but this guy gets to start making treasure tokens so you know that's something and we get to keep up miscalc. Could be worse, I guess. Sure. Uh. <laughs> you got it. Uh, let's get an island. Oof. That could be the ticket. Oh, this costs one to activate? No, that's terrible. What a, what a bunch of garbage. 
Let's still draw um, Splinter Twin, I suppose. <laughs> yes, MTG Pack Grab, please, please criticize my plays in real time. What do you got here? Two? Yeah, okay. And this makes us a 4-3? Oof. Yeah, just take four. That's not a land. So, bummer. It's not ideal. We're not we're not having a good time here, folks. Uh, let's do this, Jobby. Tap this guy down. And you know, they have one card, so we're just gonna cross our fingers that they don't have a removal spell and that we top deck Splinter Twin, right? Like that's all we gotta do. It's not nearly as hard as everyone thinks it is. That's kind of like a Splinter Twin, right? Oh yeah, that's, let's do that. Uh, counter spell, draw a card. That was that was a decent draw, considering we're taking five, six, seven, eight, nine, possibly ten. But we really need a red source. So let's go to their turn. They're gonna put us to two. We're gonna put ourselves to one. Sure. That's totally fine. Okay, and then Splinter Twin's gonna be right on top after we shuffle, and it's gonna be like the, the best underdog story that's ever happened. Go to two, then go to one. They have no cards in hand, come on. Just let Papa get his mountain. One time. Just want to do it one time. That's not it. Do we think it'll be the next card? It was not there. It was not meant to be. Maybe our, I see, like, I don't know, maybe our deck isn't terrible. Maybe it's just bad against the aggressive decks because I think we do have answers to cards that take place later than turn two or three, you know. It was not there. It is true. It is true. <sighs> what can you do? Do you still take steps? I do, but I think that... So... Some places it says the Vintage Cube is through the 25th. And on their website, it says through the 26th. So I don't know if it's up all day tomorrow or if it goes down at like noon for some weird reason. I actually have no idea how long it's going to be up for tomorrow. You like eggs? I do like eggs. Wow, that was a good hit. Holy smokes. 10 a.m. Thursday would be insane. Getting a whole another day tomorrow for Cube is really nice. I'm very curious about what's going on here because they've played two red sources and a white source without any plays by turn two. So, you know, that's a thing. Hmm. 
Dashy Dashy. I'm actually gonna tap this guy down. They don't need they don't need to be attacking with this gentleman. Oh uh, yep. Could have also blocked, but I mean if we just top the explainer to in here, then it's all over, right? That's like a Splinter Twin. Shut up and take my money. Oh, the devil. Hey, you cheated at that showdown. Give me my fiddle back, you hillbilly yokel. God, that's messed up. I think you got the wrong guy, though. I don't even know how to play the fiddle. I think we're just spell seeking here. And I will take two, because I'm just a I'm just a degenerate. Let's get a regular old-fashioned counter spelloid. We can also uh, play Goldspan next turn, attack with it, and then keep up a counter spell from the treasure, which would be nice. What do you think you might stream after the queue is done? That's actually a really good question, and I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm not sure. Maybe bro drafts. Is this their? Was this their? What is this? Why do they have all these these mana sources here? Well, we have this as a big sneaky sneaky, but they don't have anything that take advantage of Kiki Jiki. You got it. If they take, if they took one more, then they just die. That's fine. They can't copy it, so whatever. Uh, no blocks. You got a Chandra? Good grief. That's good, but I think you're still dead. They're gonna kill Goldie. I don't even get a treasure token out of it. Yep, that's fine. Do I need to order you a do-rag and a super douchey hat to wear while drafting, bro? While drafting, bro. See, this is why punctuation is important, because I don't know if you're calling me a bro, or if you're referring to the draft format, bro. You got it. I'm oh, sorry to hear you got laid off, but we all get entertainment in the form of watching you play vintage so things work out. MC Packrat, I was like, when I saw your comment on YouTube, I was like, what a little dick face. And then you're actually just fine. And it's like, but I don't understand. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just shoot you in the face. One, two, three, four. Uh, what if you have a, you don't got nothing. You have nothing. Cause it's like every time, like, dude, the YouTube comments that get me are the like the well actually guys are like, mm, well actually, mm, if you did this instead, then I'm like, yeah, but magic's hard and there's a bunch of things going on and yes, sometimes the desire to take the card I like and want to play with definitely uh, overpowers the desire to take the correct card. Hundred percent happens to me. No, no. Uh, What's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? No excuses there. Prismatic Versta. Yeah, <laughs> that's why we watch, right? Yeah, just to correct the, the streamer. It's like, hey buddy. Why'd you make that stupid play, idiot? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Oh, that was a good game. Good game. Flemmy with these these emotes is wild. All right, so I guess our deck is really good. We're actually uh, undefeated in the games we've won, you know? 
I watch because I've opened Frank Page by accident and can't work a computer and I'm close. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a uh, hold on, let me see when Zombub first followed me. 2013. A literal decade ago. God, I'm so sorry he's 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 been literally he's had that uh that tab open for for ten years. It's literally ten years. That's insane, dude. My my electricity bill is outrageous, let me tell you. Dude, that's so fucking weird because it's like like not only have you guys have been follow like some of you have been following me for ten years, but I've been like interacting with you guys and like chatting with you for a decade. That's so weird. That's so insane, dude. Think of all the shit that's happened in ten years. And we're still here playing magic together. That's unreal. That's unreal to me. Alternatively, Super Fritz has only been following me since 2018. So is he even a real fan? I don't know. Hard to say. I just click on your names because like if you click on the the name in the chat, it tells you like when their account was created, when they started following, like stuff like that. Not the plague has also been since 2018, so I don't know. It, they're probably not even real fans, to be honest. Check me. <laughs> also 2018. March 1st, 2018. <laughs> Do me next. Dude, that's so wild. Even like five years is such a long time, though. Me too, and I'm definitely not a fan. Yeah, I know. You guys are just here to troll on me, and that's fine. You know, whatever it takes to get friends. Please pay attention to me. So is it this guy? Is it this guy? Or is it this guy? Nobody knows. Yeah, like which which of you had the longer commitment to me or the Navy? Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That's a fascinating. I'm fascinated. I'm having a fascinating time. I'm going to play this guy. I think they're going to kill it. They're going to be like, untap, kill your guy with my instant and sorcery centric deck. They get a token because I'd rather keep this guy around. Kerwit, okay, you are 2017. Got a year up on him. Uh, okay, what do you do? There's Malafine and Pay. Okay, nothing. You just do nothing. I'm just going to block here because I literally don't have great answers for this guy. Or ways to trigger my own. So, you know. This, however, is going to be decent. Get busy, burden. And we won that game, too. Okay, you know what? Maybe I was a little hard on our deck. Because I think the white decks, the good white decks, make all decks look bad. I think I watched watch your YouTube videos while I was living in Japan. Really? Is that right? This hand looks terrible. I'm going to mulligan this. Well, we could always get Ancestral Recall. Is that a thing we want to do? No, we just want to have a normal hand, I guess. We'll put six drop back. We're probably never going to cast Steel Seraph, but, you know, if the games get late enough, let's just top deck a Mox Ruby. That's all I want. Oh, look at that. It's like we did Mulligan. Mox Ruby? Michael Ruba? Okay. Well, maybe next time. Monsonster? Check me. Okay. <laughs> 2018 as well. May 21st, 2018. Subbed for 46 months. That's so long. Oh, there's the Mox Ruby. That's beautiful. Oh my god. It's so gorgeous. I'm not going to play Vista, though, because they know about it. and uh, not, I, I don't want to take the damage against a, a more aggressive red deck. And, you know. I don't care that they know about it, is what I meant to say. Fact or fiction? Okie dokie.
Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. I really am a fake fan, even in my own memory. <laughs> Oh dear. That doesn't sound correct. So if we play Chandra, she goes up to five. They can attack her down to four. Or one, rather. Four. <laughs> Maybe we just keep Pestermite up, tap something. That seems fine, right? I kind of I feel like they're not too uh, aggressive right now. They missed they haven't missed the land drop, but they're they just got a bunch of two twos. After Chion sold out. That's pretty funny. Uh, Okay, let's see if this doubles. Please don't. They lost the flip. Sounds good. Oh god, lose it again. They lost it again? Oh, oh god, really? This is brutal. Oh god. Oh, they lost three times in a row. This is why this, is why this card is terrible. <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna tap this guy. Oh, what are you doing? What's happening? What in the earth? Oh, wow. They just lost four flips in a row. Uh, yep. So I assume they're going to attack with this guy. I'm going to block because I don't have Splinter Twin. Maybe I don't block. Maybe I just take the two. I Chandra and kill this guy. That seems correct. I mean, I don't want to feel silly, but like... If we just top deck Splinter Twin, I'm going to feel stupid, you know? One, two, three, four. So shortly after I started following IRL. Creepy. Uh, 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 do you have two mana? Uh, so we know they have Dismember and Embereth Shieldbreaker in hand. This guy's really doing terrible for them, but... Uh, honestly, like, as soon as they win a flip, they get two spells, which they would never have normally. I don't want them to kill both my artifacts, so... Yeah, we'll just get rid of that guy. I mean, we have plenty of mana, so... Like, if they kill Izzet Signet, that's totally fine. <laughs> Is that impressive after losing four flips? I was like, mm, not ideal, sir. Not ideal. But you know what is ideal? Supporting the channel via HelloFresh.com. Go to the link in the description. Use my promo code. Get 21 free meals plus free shipping. It's a great, great deal. We had it tonight. We made this delicious sweet corn and green pepper chowder. It was very, very good. And I'm actually kind of sad that we don't have more. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a great way to support the channel. I get a, I get a kickback for every... Uh, every subscription you can you can literally cancel within the first week or two if you don't happen to like it or if you don't want to buy any more boxes totally up to you I would still get the credit at that point miscalculation one two three four five six seven eight this is four. 
Hmm. There's nothing I really want to do here, unfortunately. Like, I, I think I just play Zealous Conscripts to play it? I don't even know anymore. Four, five... Yeah, this is this is fine. We're probably gonna lose Shonder, but I get to keep up factor fiction and miscalculation. Which gives us some options. Fury, but you know I have miscalc. You saw it for for with your own eyes. Was it a bait? It couldn't have been a bait. You're also keeping Chandra alive. I don't know what's going on right now. Splinter Twin right now. Because I've earned it. That's why. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play land. One, two, three, four. Ha! Huh. Okay, that'll do. We just take the Splinter Twin pile. Uh, <laughs> choose a pile to put in your hand. Choose a pile to put in your hand. This one. Add two. Create a token. Target this guy. All right. Two, two, one? Two, one. Unbelievable. With a deck I thought was not even that great. Turned out it was all right, I guess. I don't know. Definitely check out HelloFresh. It's a great way to support the channel. And you're buying food anyway. You're literally already buying food. Just buy the food from HelloFresh and support me. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow on Twitch or on YouTube. And uh, thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.